Hello everyone and welcome back to Code Vein. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. Is something up? Uh, we're gonna pick up right where we left off and I, I think we're ready to We can to head leave. out whenever you're ready. Yeah, we can head out whenever we're ready. I, I think we're ready to head out. We're gonna keep him as our partner for now. And I suppose we just exit. No, we don't need to begin training. Very Souls-like Wall of Mist. Well, maybe we're not going in there. Maybe I have no idea where we're going. Can we teleport? Oh, just the home base and the training area. Eighty-three percent explored. I, I don't know if that means that is where we're going back to. What is it? Not sure what we just did, but we don't have enough materials to do this. Take care. Well, there we go. There's an objective. Head to the underground from the missile and home base and search for missiles in the ruined city. Exploration goal? Investigate ruined city underground. Okay, well, that's a very loose objective and I, I wouldn't have supposed that I was kind of looking I was kind of looking for a new area to go to but we're just uh, we're just gonna teleport back to the underground I just don't know like where should we go to I guess we just start back at the beginning. A wall of fog that appeared after Operation Queenslayer, imprisoning all life within it. Human and Revenant, anyone who approaches it... Okay, well that's the red mist. Everything happened... Everything shit happened after the Queen was killed. Alright, we have this massive hammer that we're trying out. It's good to be with you. And if we look at our map... Maybe we can get an idea, like it looks like we can get into a different area over there. And there's clearly some your missiles we haven't found, because we haven't revealed the entire map. So I guess that's just our goal, is to fully explore What's this. That over there? It's fine. Put up our defensive ability. He's pretty strong. He took that guy out by himself. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Well, I kind of want to see what's down to the bottom right where it looks like we haven't been we'll see if we can make our way up there I'm not a very good navigator although it is really nice to at least have a mini map I'll try to not obsessively check the mini map like over and over again it looks like we don't have any footprints having been back here I see something uh, okay we got this guy on our back well, we took a hit there I kind of want to see... Nope. I don't know if anything can block like the full damage, you know, like there's no shield. Also, for some reason... Today the sound settings... Seem really high. Hopefully that's a little better, you guys let me know if anything needs to be adjusted. We're picking up a lot of materials, eventually we'll be able to actually do some crafting. 
Hmm. Which way to go? That is a good question, my friend. Well, we're clearly gonna go this way. That's Careful of shadows around that cargo. Yeah, we were ready for him that time. I'm impressed. You should be impressed. It's almost like we've been here before. That's deep. If you fell, there'd be no coming back. I think we can bash. Whoa, that was nice. He's got some magic going on. I think we can bash right through that shield with the heavy attack on this thing. Basically making pretty short work of these guys. The hammer is slow. I, I don't know how I feel about here? it. It's not a weapon I would go with ideally. I mean, we just found a lost bayonet. That, the bayonet was something that I was really interested in. For that, we probably want the ranger. Alright. And we can't utilize... What is this? Oh, okay, that's the secondary. So as a secondary, we could do the sword. We haven't uh, done a lot of switching, but if we press up on the D-pad, that's what can switch us between our primary and secondary weapons. And I don't know if we have any crossover skills. Reckless Abandon, a communal gift with Louis, increases attack and it alters your evasive movements. Okay. Why not? No, we don't want to go this way. We need I need to pay attention to make sure that I'm actually going where I want to go. Otherwise, I'm going to get all turned around and we're never going to get anywhere. I wish there was a way I could enlarge the map a little bit without bringing up the full menu. We have to go all the way around this? Is this what's happening? Where is this taking us? Yeah, this we have to go the whole way around. And we're probably going to find some stuff that we missed along the way. I love the battle music that kicks in. It's pretty awesome. And like over here we never uncovered the map, which means we are we didn't find a missile somewhere that we should have. This cave probably opened in the Great Collapse. Okay. That's good to know little bits of lore that we can get from the characters. Not a lot of room to dodge. Well, that's okay. We don't need a lot. expectations. We don't need a lot of room. something we can use? No, probably nothing very useful at all. Uh, we're not going to jump off into the abyss there, no. back attack. I doubt we're going to do the same thing to this guy, but... We could strike from behind. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Take some pop shots from back here while Louis finishes them off. That worked out pretty well. Now we could go this way, but are we sure that we've investigated everything over here? The enemy on the other side looks tough. For some reason, I just noticed it's marking the enemies in red on our minimap. Has it always been doing that? I don't know. The enemy down there looks tough. Yeah, he kind of does. That was a little close. Uh, there was a couple more of them than I initially realized. I wish they had a bit more range on it. Oh, that's not good. Well, we've pulled a couple of them. Without help, Louis is going to have a hell of a time. Oh, look at that! He fireballed his ass. That's amazing. Good job, Louis. High up there. Apparently we're suffering some line of sight difficulties. There we go. Not, probably not how it's intended to be done, but it worked nonetheless. And we didn't take any damage, so that's even better. We're getting a lot of lost shards. So we're going to have to remember to crack those the next time we do find a missile. I just want to call it a bonfire. It's just that missile is such a weird word for it. I, I don't know. I'm ever gonna get used this to terrain it. Doesn't favor us. Very clean execution. I agree with you. We did rather well. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but different weapons have a different dodge roll mechanic. So with the sword, we actually dodge roll. But if we have the bayonet on, we do this uh, this quick strife. You know, we're, I think we get invincibility frames while we're doing it. And if you're not familiar, invincibility frames, like while you're in this motion, you can't be struck. Same thing during the middle roll, you can't be hit by an enemy's attack. And those are called invincibility frames or eye frames. If you don't know, and if you do know, well, sorry for the pointless explanation. Uh, now, this is where it gets kind of sketchy. We're over here. I feel like we're missing something in this area. I'm just not sure what. A secret passage somewhere. We've been through here. Quite valuable. A lost, it well. a lost broadsword. We uh, we need. Let's check that out. Now the broadsword. That's gonna scale with strength. Okay, so that's gonna be for the warrior or the berserker soul. Interesting. I'm interested enough just to switch it up. Let's jump back to berserker, which which has an A rating for strength. And let's throw on the Lost Broadsword. We can keep the bayonet as well in Berserker, which is interesting. What we do need to check is how many of our abilities can we use. The only one we can't use right now is Triple Annihilator. We could replace that with something. Attack up.
I like the dash. There was probably a better place I, I could this. I could have teleported. Like if I knew exactly what we were looking for, I would have been able to do so. But I think it's also okay to go ahead and backtrack like this. On the good side, we have a crap ton of haze. Try not to call them souls. 3,570, and that's, that's not including what we haven't we opened earlier. from our items. We missed something earlier? Yes, we did. Can we get back up? We have just come into like a very weird spot. Sometimes, like I said, I'm just very bad at navigating. Good work finding this. It's open. Queen Slayer Greatsword. I have no idea if we have any means of of getting out of this. Oh no. What have we done exactly? Oh, look at this. There is a ledge. This place looks promising. Oh, okay. That was close. I thought that uh, we were about to give up all of our haze for this broadsword. So this scales uh, even better with strength and is much more powerful. It's going to slow our mobility because of how heavy it is. Now, do we get... We're still slow. But I think that's okay. Not a lot of room to move here. Yeah, this is uh, an impressive sword, guys. Look at this thing. Alright. So now we need to figure out how we can get back on track. What I don't like is that the map flips. I probably need to find the setting that fixes the map. North is north. Kind of deal. No, we, we wanted settings. Aha. There we go. I just want to look at the map and know which way is north. And now we should be in much better shape navigationally. Alright, yes, that's beautiful. That feels so much better. Alright, now I'll be able to figure out and know where we're going at all times. Watch your step. Instead of, like, running in circles. Much better. We need to go down there and check that guy out. And we need to lure him back up here. I don't know if this is the weapon to do it with, seeing as how we are... Whoa, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Up. Up is switch weapon. Let's go back to our bayonet for now. Enemy up ahead. Stay sharp. Not a lot of room to dodge. Here. Holy shnikes. Whoa! Did he fall off? We got the 201 haze for him. Holy shit. That was uh, ill-planned. But uh, we did figure it out. For some reason I thought we had... I thought we had set up some more of these. Venom cartridge, we need to be using that. I don't know if we've been stunned yet. Okay, there we go. I guess since these are limited 
and this we can regenerate. We just use this. Used a lot of healing. Can you still go on? Yeah, we can go on because uh, we can rest. All right. So what area is this? Does it even tell us? It doesn't even tell us where we're at, does it? Huh. We can switch our partner from here. Here's hoping we find something interesting. Just for giggles, let's bring this guy in. Yakimo. And maybe we need to look at learning some stuff. I like the bayonet. Temporarily applies the venom effect to your cur I think we, we know that, don't we? Reduces stamina consumption from guarding while you are focused. These all seem so strange and, and, and specific. And we can't do any more with these. I guess we just unlock some of these. Wait, you spooked or something? Max out its proficiency. Hmm. Well, this tree looks a lot bigger. Is that because it's specific to Louis? Phantom Assault, we can use with a bayonet. Vanish like mist, then do a jump slash. That seems really cool. Firestorm. That's a it's, so it's a spell. Shoots a series of flaming projectiles. We probably can't use that because it probably relies on mind. We're deficient in some of these. Not sure what that means. Oh, we don't have enough. They cost so much. Eternal Blade Dance cost 48,000. Let's grab Phantom Assault. So weird. All right, that being done, let's just gain a couple more character levels until we figure out more about our leveling up our gifts and whatnot. Cause I already feel like I have so many abilities. Make sure you're good and set before we go. That I'm just not using. Like we obviously need to be using Phantom Assault now. All right, so we've mapped this out now. It's still far off. This nice. guy. This guy has come back, but I don't know that there's anything else down there that we need. Oh, I thought we aggroed him. So let's keep going this way. Well, he could have been... Could have been alive. Now we're getting into chutes and ladders. Oh, so we're at 100% explored. Does that mean that we can just head back to base? Does, is that like mission complete? Let's teleport home from this missile and just see because now it says that this is all 100% complete, which to me says we've done everything here we need to. Rest? Let's go see what uh, everyone has to say back home. Blood codes, a special kind of blood type carried by all revenants that determines their abilities. We know all that. But it's one of the few we've had time to read. Well, where the hell is Louis? Hey, what's up? The lost are what's left of revenants who've succumbed to their thirst. Their boar parasites take over. Turning them into unkillable monsters. They're boar parasites. Turn them to ash and they'll just keep popping back up. 
really? mindlessly hunting blood. Gotta take out the heart. Nothing human is left. If you're fighting them, show no mercy. Keep at them, no matter how many times it takes. If you don't, you'll find yourself. Oh, enjoying. he's he's just referencing the in-game mechanic of them coming around. back to life. It was easier to explore when we could use all the missile. The sacrifices of many provided paths into the depths. Hmm. But now even the staunchest explorers are swallowed up by the worsening environment or swarms of the lost. They must have left coordinates leading to the depths, but most of those were lost along with the explorers. If you find any maps of the depths out okay, there, yeah. I'd appreciate it if you showed them to me. I don't think we have yet. We'll take care of the rest. But that's good to Once know. Once we've read the data, the one who discovered it gets priority for journeys there. Excellent. Well, that would be us. Your life is your great. But we don't have any maps. And I'm having a hard time finding uh, Brochacho. Oh, here he is. He's just chilling on the couch now. So when, in an RPG, when things change, that means you progress to a new phase. So doing the 100% completion must have been exactly what we needed. What is it? Well, you tell us. What else do you have to say? It seems I can restore the blood code of the Vestige's creator. From if you find an... It could yeah, we haven't fought any more bosses yet, so we're good for right now. Yeah, we know about that. Let's, uh, well, let's take a look. I don't think we would change our face or hair or anything, but we might be able to, like, change our outfit. Accessories? What are accessories? Oh, for real? Yeah, I don't know about that. How do I feel about accessories? Um, I am on the fence. It's a thing people really like. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, so for now, we're gonna pass on accessories, but, well, some of them are cool. Alright. Well, maybe there will be some accessories I like and some that I don't. Alright, well. Alright, we have accessories, guys. I won't spend too much time in here. What does that do? That just gives us, what is this, like hair extensions? I don't even understand what this is. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, we're good on that. Oh, we can have like little bags and stuff, though. Alright. This is pretty cool. I don't know why it would be there, but... Is that the only place? It's, that's like where we keep our, our phone while we're jogging and staying like uber fit. Oh, there's some that are popping up behind us. Like little butt satchels. Like, why do I have a satchel on the small of my back? Let's take the the white iPhone carrier. Apparently we can have gloves. And all sorts of other things. Elbow pads, that's pretty practical. Like, yeah, I would definitely want to have some protection on my joints if I were getting my ass handed to me all the time. Uh, some protection for the fists. Sure, why not? Oh, we can only have one. I see. Let's take the shoulder pads or elbow guards, rather. Oh, I see what's happening. We can stack multiples together. You can tell I've played many games with this many customization options. And so that means that our little bag didn't stay. There we go. Now I'm getting the idea, guys. And then we could even go so far as to change the color. Like, clearly our bag needs to be red and black. All right, what else? I know I'm getting way into this now. And at first I was so opposed to it. Uh, where is this gonna go exactly? Well, we knew there had to be some, but we're going to avoid that kind of thing. Uh, what, what is this stuff, hair bows? Nope, nope, okay, we're good. We're good with what we have. I don't think we've unlocked uh, any new clothing, so. I think our outfit is fine. Maybe eventually we'll try some other stuff. But for now, I think we are good. 
Yeah, that was a very long aside. I apologize for that. Unless you're really into the customization stuff, then there you go. That's a look at how deep some of the customization can get. I didn't realize we could put on little accessories. I think that's actually pretty neat. Some of them are neat. Some of them are questionable. Let's just say that, but that's some people's thing and, you know, let's just not judge. Everyone likes what they like. Are we sitting to talk to him or are we just sitting to uh, to hang out? No, we're, we're just sitting to hang out. I kind of wish we could, like, engage from this position. It seems natural. We'd come back, chill out, and report what's going on. But let's stand up and loom over him. Is something up? Uh, you tell me. When I woke up as a revenant in this prison, blood springs already existed, and everyone relied on them. We don't know where they came from or how they work, but without them, nearly all revenants would have joined the Lost. Hmm. That will still be the outcome if things don't change, though. That's why we need to study the blood beads. I hear you. So... We can head out whenever you're ready. Yeah, we could totally head out. Let's see what the objective board says. It still says to investigate the ruined city. Hmm, I'll have to look into that because in my mind we have 100% completion, so... Not sure if we're missing something. You know where we could check out. Maybe the outer crossroads? That would be like the furthest point, right? That we had traveled? And we could see if there's any more to go towards? Residents of the world, activating missile allows other revenants and humans to enter areas that you've explored. Try returning to a place you've visited before and you just might encounter someone new. Okay. Another day together. That's weird and unusual. Yeah, look at this. So we clearly, this is what it wants us to do. All right, I mean, we have an upper area to explore, don't we? Like, we haven't been down here at all. We have no footprints leading this way. At least we got 100% completion on the underground. Oh, you're exploring this area too? Yes. I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. That's bold of you. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the deaths. Nice. I'll be around here for a while. Excellent. If you want to buy anything, let me know. So we know who wants this map. Map, Den of Darkness. That's really cool, and that should open up a new area, I think. Sell valuables. It would only be worth 10, I'm not gonna sell it to him. If you have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. So, he's a person we can come to and we could get things to give to our other characters, I'm assuming. I don't really know how this is all going to work. We need a currency that we don't seem to have with him. So maybe we'll don't figure that out once we have more stuff. Accessing the depths. Bringing maps of the depths to Davis at home base allows you to explore different paths of the depths. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough. But haze and upgrade materials can easily be acquired. So the depths maps must be places where we can go grind. Uh, they'll probably be worth checking out, but maybe not spending too much time in them, focusing mainly on progressing the story. So, but yeah, definitely something we want to check out. I think this is going to be a good place for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll turn the map in to Davis back home, and then we'll head back here and see what else we can explore in this area. Let me know what you guys think of the game in the comments. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And if you've played it on your own, any tips you might have on the systems or the combat are always welcome. Just no story spoilers, please. And as always, I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Um, it means a lot to me that you're here. So take care and wish me luck. See you again soon.